Hello and welcome to Organized-ish. My name is Leela and today we are not organizing inside the house. Today we are going to be talking about all things car organization because we spend a lot of time in our cars and it seems to be the place that kind of piles up. We don't really think about cleaning up the trash all the time or adding organizers to make riding in the car easier. So today I wanna to go over some of my favorite products that you can buy to get your car a little more organized. Now, before we do that, I do wanna mention, I'm gonna be showing you quite a few products. Do not feel like you have to own every single one of these products in order to have an organized vehicle. That is not the case. Technically, you don't have to own any of these items. You can replace some of them with boxes that you already have or reusable shopping bags. It does not matter. This video is just to give you some different ideas of things that you can add to basically solve problems that you already have. So don't feel like you've got to fill up your entire cart with every single thing but you are gonna see some things that I know you're gonna want. Now, when it comes to keeping your car organized, really 90% of it is just keeping the trash at bay. So it only makes sense to put a trash can in your car. Now I have two recommendations for you based on the amount of trash you have in your car and the age of your children if you have any and just the amount of space that you have. So first there's this little cup holder option and this one is really small. It's got a little lid that you can push down here and it fits inside like your door cup holder or your regular cup holders or you can just kind of stash it in between a seat. It really is small and compact and it fits inside everything. It also comes with a roll of little trash bags, kind of like little dog bags, and they can go inside so you can line it. I have these in my car and I typically don't use the little trash bags just because this small one just holds like straw wrappers or candy wrappers or just something little. But when it comes to larger items, I have this trash can and it has a little flap in the top, but you can actually fit like a bottle inside here or a chip bag. This can be strapped onto your middle console like I have in my car, or you can strap it to a seat or in the floorboard. It's got a few different configurations on how to store this but it just makes it really easy to train yourself to just drop everything in this trash can. It's pretty large. And then every time I stop at a gas station to refill my gas tank, I just go ahead and empty out the trash can there. It's also got a couple of pockets on the side and you can store little cleaning supplies in here like disinfectant wipes or hand wipes, anything that you might need to clean up after you're throwing away trash. This is a good place to just keep it all together. Next, let's talk about the middle console because that is so hard to organize and they come in so many different shapes and sizes. So you can't just buy some kind of universal organizer and expect it to work. In my car, my middle console is teeny tiny and I found something a little unexpected that works really well. And that is a purse insert. So you can get these felt purse inserts in all shapes and sizes pretty much anything you need. I got a round one just so it would fit in my middle console, but if you have a larger one, you can definitely get a square or rectangle one. I love using these in my purse, but one day I realized that they have all these little pockets on the inside here and the middle part you can take out. So something like this makes it so easy to just stuff all of your pins and everything all around instead of having a bunch of different little organizers. I've been seeing a lot of people online using clear plastic containers or these bags, and I actually had these bags in my car for a while, but it was just really annoying to have to take out each individual one and open it up and get the thing out, use it, and then close it back up and put it away. A lot of times when you're in the car and you need something, you need it right then. So it just makes it really easy to have everything accessible. Also, when it comes to organizing your middle console, I really wanna question what you actually need to keep in there. A lot of these videos we see, people are just filling their middle console with as much as they possibly can, but there are so many other spaces in your car that you can use for organization. And I just feel like the middle console isn't the best use of space. So I wanna challenge you to only keep the necessary items there and try out other organizers somewhere else in the car for the other things. 
This next item is more of a preventative than an organizer because it just keeps a space from getting messy and that is the spot in between your seats and your middle console. So before I had these trays that you slide in between the seat and the console and it was open on the inside like a little pocket. So if you dropped anything in there, it just fell into the tray. But the problem was the trash and the food crumbs and everything were falling inside that tray and the tray was really hard to clean and it kept sliding and so it would just end up all the way down at the bottom of the seat. So I got this, I saw it on Shark Tank and I really wanted to try it but I didn't really think that it was necessary and now that I've tried the other trays, I realize it definitely is. So these are like squishy. See how it's nice and squishy and foamy? And it has a little spot for your seat belt. So instead of having a spot for all these things to fall into, this just closes up that gap completely so nothing can fall there. If you drop something, it really just stops right here on this little squishy pillow and it doesn't even make it into a little tray that you've got to clean out later. It's just there for you to pick up. Next up is a backseat organizer. And when you think of organizing a backseat, you probably think of those big things that you put up against the back of a seat and it just has all these little pockets. And those are great, but if you have a small vehicle, it really takes up a lot of leg room. And my son is a teenager. I cannot afford to take up any leg space from him. So what I found is this smaller organizer and it's got a little opening here so you can put tissue inside. It has little pocket holders on each side, hooks underneath, and then the top opens up so you can fill this inside whether you want to do tissue or just random items. But you can also use this as a phone holder and prop the phone up on it. So this is a really good way to organize right behind the headrest without taking up any leg room. Now speaking of headrest organization and hooks and things to hang your stuff, I know you've seen these little hooks before and you probably wondered if they're worth it or not. So I pushed off getting these for so long because they were just all over TikTok and I didn't really feel like they were necessary until one day a truck slammed on their brakes in front of me. My purse fell into the floor. Everything went everywhere. It was such a mess. So I decided to finally order the hooks. I put it up, I hung my purse from it, and then sure enough, a few days later, someone else slammed on their brakes in front of me. I had to slam on mine and my purse was fine. It was just hanging there, nothing fell out. I didn't have to spend another five minutes filling back up my purse and cleaning up the floor. So if you ask me now if these hooks are worth it, I'm going to say yes. When you buy them, you usually get them in a pack of four. So you can use some of them for your purse. You can use them for grocery bags that you don't want to fall over like eggs or bread or something. I just feel like they really are a useful way to store things on the back of a seat or the front of the seat. Now, one thing I always feel like I need when I'm driving is a tissue, especially in the winter time. I used to keep tissues and napkins in my glove compartment, but if I needed one and I was driving by myself, I was having to wait for a red light and then reach over and try to get it out of the little organizer in the glove compartment. So when I found this, it's just a tissue compartment. There's no extra organizers, nothing to clunk up your visor. It's just a tissue holder and it actually comes with the tissues inside too. These are really helpful just to have above the driver's side. So if you're driving by yourself, you're not having to fumble around and try to get a tissue if you need it. This next item is a really good space saver for the front of the vehicle. So if you have a car phone charger, you know the cord that just like flops around and it's never where you need it when you need it and it's just looking messy if it's not in use. I found this car charger and the cords actually retract in and out. So when the cord isn't in use, it's rolled up inside this little case so you have no cords dangling anywhere. It comes with an Apple charger and an Android charger. It also has a USB port and some other port that I'm not really sure what it's for, but if you have multiple devices that you use in the vehicle, this is a really good way to charge more than one thing at one time without having a bunch of cords in different directions. 
One other thing I do like about this is it bends. So a lot of times the plug in the car is kind of in a weird place and sometimes you need the charger to go in a different direction because the gear shifter is there. So with this one, you can bend it in all different directions to kind of push it out of the way. And I think that's really helpful. This next car accessory isn't something that you have to have, but once you have it, you never want to go without it again. And it's just a little coaster. So these little coasters have a grippy side on the bottom and a soft side on the top, and you just drop them inside your cup holder. I did not expect these to make any difference at all, but once I put it in, my cups aren't sliding around, my bottles aren't making that annoying rattling sound anymore, and I had a coffee drink leak and it didn't get on the cup holder at all, so I didn't have to try to scrub out the inside of that. It just got on this and I just took it into my sink in the kitchen, washed it with some dish soap, and then it was clean again. So these like absorb any kind of wetness or like the sweat on the side of the cups when they start to sit for a little while and these little cup holders actually do just make it easier to clean your car. Speaking of cleaning your car, you probably run through the car wash and then use the vacuums after you get done, but what about the times when you spill something in between? Yes, you can wait until the next time you go through a car wash, but it's way easier just to clean up a little spill when it happens versus it just sitting there and the crumbs continue to get crushed into the floor. So what I found is this tiny little vacuum. I actually used this in my office and realized that it would be perfect for the car. So I tried it out and then immediately bought a second one to keep in the car all the time has a large opening that you can use on the floors and seats and it also has the smaller attachment that you can use for your dashboard and your vents and all those little spaces that are usually really hard to clean. It's also rechargeable so you can charge it in your car or you can charge it at home but it's always ready to go. Now the main reason why I have to vacuum my car so often is I have a 70 pound dog that sheds like a wool rug. He sheds everywhere and his fur is like velcro to the seats. It just sticks on there and it's so hard to remove. So to prevent having to vacuum all the time, I keep one of these hammocks in the car anytime he gets in and it just lines the seat completely. So the entire seat is covered. When you attach it to the front seats, it creates like a barrier so no fur is getting in the floor and it also keeps your pet safer. So if you did have to slam on your brakes for something, your dog's not gonna go flying up into the dashboard. So it creates like a little safety net for them. I do like this one specifically because the part that goes in between the front seats has a mesh opening so the dog can still see out. They don't feel like they're completely confined, especially if it's a little dog, but this just keeps your car clean. If your dog gets sick, you're not having to clean your upholstered seats. It's really just a good safety measure and cleaning preventative and your seats aren't going to smell like a dog. Now let's move on to the trunk because I have a couple of different options for you. Most trunks have a little cutout on each side and it's a great place to store smaller items but still have the main part of the trunk open. But those items always tend to fall forward and roll around in the trunk. So if your vehicle doesn't already have a net system built in, you can get these dividers and they have Velcro on the sides. So you can adjust them inside your vehicle and have these two little cubbies on the sides of your trunk to store smaller items and you don't have to worry about them rolling around. You can get these in a couple of different sizes so make sure you measure before you order them so you know that they're gonna fit but I've been really impressed with how well they stay in place. The velcro is really strong it seems to hold up well and I'm really happy with these. I think this is a really great solution for someone who needs to just have a tidy space in their trunk without completely organizing the whole thing. Now with trunk organization, sometimes you need more than just little side pockets in order to keep all of your stuff. So I like to recommend these collapsible organizers. They stretch out inside your trunk so they can span the entire space and they have different openings. So you can organize all different things in there, whether you keep a bunch of things in your trunk all the time because you have younger children 
or you just need a place to put your grocery bags so they're not falling over and rolling around. One thing I really like about this one in particular is it has a cooler space. So if we're on our way to my son's tennis matches, we have a place to put all of our drinks so we know that they stay cold without having to pack a cooler. And we can also put all the frozen items in that spot when we're buying groceries. Now the key to using one of these trunk organizers is to make sure that the one you get is collapsible and easily collapsible. Some of them you buy require a lot of setup and that's fine if you plan on leaving it there all the time, but you really need to be able to close it up quickly, especially if you buy something that needs to take up the whole trunk and you weren't planning on it. It's such a hassle to try to empty out all these cubbies and then disassemble your trunk organizer just so you can put something in the back of the vehicle. That's why I don't recommend keeping these full all the time unless you just know that you don't use your trunk. This next item isn't really an organizer, but it is really helpful, so I had to make sure that it made the list. This is a windshield cover. It looks like an umbrella, but you know those windshield covers that like are huge and you've got to like do some kind of origami to get them to close up? Instead, this works just like an umbrella and you push it open, it covers your entire windshield, and then when you're done, you just retract it and wrap it back up again. You can store this in the seat, you can store it in that trunk organizer, you can really keep it anywhere in the vehicle, but it's really helpful to have especially on really hot days. I have noticed that this does keep my car much cooler and it's just a lot easier to use than those old school windshield covers. Now this last one is really just a fun little gadget to have. You don't need this but it's a cool thing and it's not expensive. It's a little squeegee that you can use on your mirrors. So if your side mirrors are foggy you don't really have a way to clean those unless you wipe it down with your fingers and then you've got smears all over it. So this tiny little squeegee retracts and you can just reach out the window and squeegee off your mirrors. I think it's really cute and fun. I have actually used this all around the house and outside. It's just a nice little tool to have, but it is really helpful for mirrors. Okay, so some final tips for organizing your vehicle. First things first, I always recommend going through the car wash, getting your car nice and clean, vacuuming out the inside, taking out everything from the entire vehicle and starting fresh. A lot of times we don't realize how much stuff we have in the car until we start trying to organize, but a lot of those things don't actually need to be in there. So getting your car completely clean and having a fresh slate before you even start organizing helps you kind of clear your mind and start from scratch. My next tip is to avoid organizers that have too many pockets. I know, it seems counterintuitive, right? You would think that more pockets equals more organization. But when you have an ultra organizer, like one of those things that goes on the back seat and it's got tons and tons of tiny little spaces, a lot of times, a lot of things won't fit in those tiny spaces. So some of them don't even get used. So it kind of feels more like a wasted space than a helpful tool. This is also a reason why you shouldn't try to categorize too much in your vehicle too, because most of the things we keep in there don't really fit within a certain category. And if you're trying to have one organizer for beauty products and one organizer for kids snacks and one organizer for kids toys, it really kind of all starts to take over your vehicle. And remember that your vehicle is a thing that's used to transport you from one place to another. It is not a storage building. It is not a place where you keep anything and everything. It's just a means of transportation. So when you try to organize things too tightly in a vehicle, it ends up creating a bigger mess. So I really recommend just trying to find solutions for the things that you use all the time and keep the rest of the organization open so you can just put things in as you need it and you're not feeling obligated to only keep certain items in certain places. I also don't recommend using labels in the car because the things you keep in there fluctuate. Whether it's seasonal or your life stage or vacation related, all the organization spots in your car change very frequently. So adding these labels is just gonna be more of a hassle for you. 
And my last organization tip is specifically for parents of young children, and that is to have a caddy. When I was a kid and we would go on long trips, my mom would make me what was called a surprise bag. So she got a bag, she put just all kinds of random little coloring books and small toys and fun things, and they were all new and I had never seen any of them before, so I thought. And so she would put all these things in this bag. I would get to open up the surprise bag at the beginning of the trip in the car and I would have all these fun things. I noticed now as an adult that a lot of the things probably were reused. So she would put them in the surprise bag and then I would not even realize that the next time we went on a trip, it was the same thing again. It had just been a while and I'd forgotten about it. If you keep the same toys in your car all the time, the same card games, the same little electronic toys, your kids are gonna get bored with it and they're not gonna be entertained. And then that's when all the backseat chaos happens, right? Having a caddy that you can take out of the car bring in the house, empty out, replace the toys, rotate items. It just makes it a lot easier than storing these built-in car organizers that you've got to go to the car, empty it out, and then bring everything back in. You can choose whatever type of caddy you want, whether it's fabric or a plastic caddy, and they come in a bunch of different sizes too, so you can choose based on your child's age. A lot of younger kids' toys are bigger and older kids' toys are smaller, so choose the size that's gonna work best for you. That is all of my best car organization tips and my favorite products you can use to keep your car a little more tidy. Let me know which ones you can use in your own vehicle down in the comments. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more home and life organization ideas.